today we are going to and we've come to visit the Colosseum. So thus begins our tour of the Colosseum. We had intended to take a bit more footage of us talking to the camera but it was very busy and very loud in there so, so we struggled a bit with that. We opted for the two and a half hours guided tour. Here are some of the original stone steps. You can see how worn they are from time. It was amazing to see the inner workings of the Colosseum itself, see what under the floor used to look like. So under the floor were all the passages that the gladiators and the animals would all hide in and they had trap doors so they'd pop up to the surface almost as if by magic when they were having the, um, the shows there. You can see how high the walls used to be here. This is the largest amphitheatre in the world. And this view just shows just how enormous the Colosseum is. The tour that we paid for also took us up around Palatine Hill. So that's the area beside the Colosseum where the emperors used to live. And this is a secret passageway that leads from Palatine Hill to the Colosseum so that the emperors didn't have to go out amongst the general public. Here we're starting to make our way towards Palatine Hill. This is us exploring some ruined villas on Palatine Hill. Some parts of Palatine Hill are really well preserved. Here we can see how they heated their floors. It was actual underfloor heating. They had all these tunnels underneath the floor where slaves and servants would pump hot air under the floor to heat it. So here's the view from Palatine Hill overlooking Rome and the Colosseum. As you can see it's still an active archaeological site and they're still working on it every day. We're getting towards the end of the tour now and to sum up the day, we're so, so glad that we paid for the guided tour. It was amazing to get to see everything and have it all explained to us. There's no way we could relay all the information we learned just in one short video. Um, but if you're ever visiting Rome, I would highly recommend taking a visit to the Colosseum. Another day, another train station. So today we're heading to Pompeii to see the archaeological site. We've got a guided tour. We're really looking forward to it. Here it goes. We began our tour of Pompeii at the town hall. So that's what this massive building is here. So here we are in Pompeii, and this place is massive. I didn't realize how big it was. There's the volcano. That's the culprit right there. Yeah, <laughs> just standing behind. That so we just had a three hour guided tour. It was intense. And we'll try and piece together some of what we saw and make the video a bit interesting. Take you along with us. So before the eruption of the volcano in 79 AD, the mountain actually went up in a point like so. And uh, the reason people know that is because they found an old fresco painting that shows the mountain being really tall and pointy. So people have been able to piece together that the top part is actually what exploded and covered everything around here that people then excavated. So throughout Pompeii they had all these drinking water fountains and this is one of the most ornate ones but we found out they used a lot of lead piping to bring the water into the fountains. So that was one of the reasons why a lot of the Romans and the Roman emperors went a bit mad. So 
So along here we have tether points where they used to tie up the horses. Back in the days of Pompeii, they would use the streets as just a sewerage system. So they had these big blocks to step across all of the poo. But they also used this as a regular street. So horse and carts were coming up and down here all the time. So often that you can actually see the grooves that the old horse and cart had made. Just getting all along these streets. How crazy is that? Back in Pompeii, they had fast food. These holes in the table here, they're pots, terracotta pots, that the original owner of the shop would use to cook food and just sell to people in the street. Another hint that this is the shop that a lot of other buildings have along here is these grooves where they would have had shuttered doors made of wood. But of course, thousands of years ago, the wood's rotten. We've got grooves. And this is another food shop. And another food shop. We're in an original amphitheatre. Uh, it was destroyed quite badly and a lot of the marble was stolen through excavations. But it's huge and... They've done a reconstruction. It's been reconstructed since it was excavated. But you can still see a lot of the original features, like the marble steps that we're sitting on here. These marble steps have the original seat numbers on them as well. So even just little features like that, you can really see just how this fitted into people's lives. So this part of the house here was how they got water into the building. You can see the trough in the floor and when we look up there's a big hole in the ceiling so they'd collect rainwater this way. It was absolutely unbelievable to see the level of preservation in all these paintings on the walls in the houses. So this just about ends our tour of Pompeii. We were absolutely blown away by the sight. In next week's video, we're going to take a wee trip to the beach and then we're going to head over to the east coast of Italy to get ready to take a ferry across to Greece. So stay tuned. <laughs>